Alrighty, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This time we're doing some Dead Space Remake collectible guides. And for this specific video, I'm basically going to show you where all the logs, all the weapons, all the weapon upgrades, all the weapon schematics, the nodes, about three side quest missions, and the 12 markers that you need to unlock the alternative uh, ending. But for that, you do need to play this in a new game plus mode, which is what I'm about to tell you guys like, hey, you guys see me that I'll have pretty much everything, but that's because I'm doing a new game plus run. But still, I, sh I on purpose, you know, did not get none of the text slash audio logs. So we should still be good. But also just want to let you guys know that you don't need to be doing this on new game plus just a heads up. You know, this is just what I chose, but you do only need it for the 12 markers. And that is the only way that you will find those. So just heads up on that. And then some parts might be a little bit longer just because I want you guys to, you know, to show you guys exactly where to go. You know, I don't want you guys to question like, wait, where is this again? So a lot of the times, you know, I'll try to do my best with that. Again, let me know as feedback is very important. And, you know, to have the best results, I would rec definitely recommend uh, following all of my videos, you know, so you can pretty much get everything that I have. But anyways, without further ado, if you want to check out the playlist, I do have it in the description below. And if you really enjoyed and help find this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you just hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, let's get started. So off the bat, as soon as you are able to move, look back and to your left, and that is where the log should be. Don't worry about this achievement. This is just for having items in the storage, because again, I started a new game plus, so all everything went into the storage. But anyways, look to your left, and that is where our first uh, text log should be. And again, text and audio log, same thing, so they all count as the same thing. But this is the first one of the game. Next on up, this is the moment where you and the entire squad is all together. You're going to wait up for this store to open, pretty much just follow the story. You're going to go straight, and then we're going to take a left. And on this bench over here, this is where our second log is located at. Continuing the story, we're going to go down an elevator, and this is where our first available weapon is, which is pretty much just story related, so don't worry. You will have to literally find this, but this is where you unlock the plasma cutter. After picking up the uh, plasma cutter, just head on over to the right. There will be this door that will be locked. You have to shoot it, open it, and this is where your first enemy pops out of the game. So make sure to take it down. And once you do, we're going to go into that exact room and we're just going to follow the hallway and uh, we're going to go take a right to this door where the tram control is or tr tram control room. Yes. And uh, this is where our third log for the game should be. Yeah, these are a little bit weird, but still, these are logs. <laughs> Next on up, continuing the story, you'll get this video call from Hammond and Daniels. And uh, just in case if you don't know, it's just use the, uh, you know, the waypoint. It'll take you where to go anyways. Uh, this is where you have to go to the tram tunnel. And this is where the stasis module should be located. We're going to go down this catwalk in a sense. And we're going to take a right. And as soon as we're going to go straight over there, this is where it's going to be on the floor. And this is where the... Uh, the door is shutting down really quickly. And just before you actually do anything, just pick it up and do not hit stasis on the door just yet. Because if you don't do anything and you just stand next to the door, as you'll see right now, you'll get another log. And just a heads up, some of these logs can be missable. You only really need like 150 out of uh, 188 that are in total the game. So again, just stay next to the door, don't do anything, and you'll automatically get a log if in about, uh, I want to say 20 seconds or so. So just don't do anything. And if you did, don't worry about it, just kind of continue. But for the moment, just don't do anything, and you'll get this video call right here from Daniels. And then, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Now, this is just me on the other side of that door, literally from where we just got the stasis module. Put stasis on the uh, door and then make your way up on the ramp. Take a left and that's where you'll see your safe station. Continue forward into the tram repair room. We're going to go inside and then we're going to take a hard right. And on the wall, there should be our first node. Again, these are the ones that we do uh, use them for our weapon upgrades. So I just had to pick that one up. And there's going to be two more uh, logs up in this uh, 
area right here. So right to your left, that is where our first audio log is going to be. So just make sure to pick it up, you know, listen to it a little. And then remember, you can hold B or I guess uh, circle to just cancel them. And once we are done with that one, head on over to where you got to go to this platform, hit the button to open up the tram. Now, again, this is one of those that's kind of a little tedious, but nothing too crazy. There's going to be another control panel to your right. And uh, the right claw is the one that does not stick onto the tram. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to press it about three times. Uh, just to press it and then Daniels is going to give you a video chat call again if you if you do this on the first try it's not going to happen uh, just be careful with the enemies and um, yeah so you got to do it as you can see this is my second time it doesn't stick and just in case you don't know how to do this make sure to get the claw stuck in there and then use stasis on it and then there you go there's the call from Daniel so log down Next up, we're going to make our way back to the stasis door again. Just go back to it. I uh, use waypoints again. Uh, a lot of the uh, collectibles are kind of towards the story way anyways. Uh, but this time, there's going to be an enemy that's going to pop out from the floor. So just be careful on that one. And we're going to go back on the ramp. So take a left. And then just pretty much uh, go straight forward. We're going to go all the way back. We're going to take a right into this uh, door. And uh, we're going to go straight forward on that one. So again, just use waypoints just like that and uh, again you know just a little uh, heads up just let me know how I'm doing you know if I could be faster or if this pace is uh, pretty good because again at the end of the day it's up to you guys to see if you guys found these videos helpful you know so again we're gonna go across the hallway we're gonna take a right just careful I believe this one's gonna be alive so heads up on that so we're gonna go to the circuit breaker and we're gonna give power to the second uh, uh, power i guess i don't know uh breaker so follow the uh, blue power line and we're gonna go over to this door to our right as you can see over here again just follow the blue thing and once you go inside this area there will be a node right on the wall now for this one go back to the circuit breaker and this time put the juice on the next breaker and we're gonna walk for a little bit um, this one is kind of a little you know it could get a little tricky so I'm literally gonna show you exactly where to go so go to the maintenance bay and I'll walk you pretty much there so we're gonna take a right you could potentially take it on the left as well but this is just the way that I chose and just a heads up careful because there's gonna be a lot of enemies popping out uh, so just again and it sucks because like it's kind of dark as you guys can see you know it's not the most lighting or i guess like it's not as bad as others but uh yeah i'm gonna take my time all right to uh kill him it shouldn't be too bad and uh yeah it sh should be a couple and up ahead in that actual room where we're looking at that is where the marker is at we're gonna have to come back to that room uh to get collectibles but for that we need to turn on the power so as you guys can see right there boom there's a couple but we can't access that just yet so we're going to take a left once we make it to the uh, end of the hallway. As you, as you can see, just use your waypoint. It'll, it's going to help a lot. And we're going to go on this elevator, which is going to take us on top. Um, press it. Obviously, fast forward here You know, to save time because this is going to be a lengthy video. We're going to get out and we're going to head on over to, I guess, north. Uh, just careful because this dude is, um, you know, he's trying to scare you. Or actually, this guy right here. Sorry. I, I got a little confused. Sometimes they're a little confusing. But uh, from this circuit breaker, we're going to take actual a right. And on the table or chair, there should be a log. Now from that same spot, we're just going to turn back. And we're going to go over to the circuit breaker. Pump juice into the maintenance room. And this is where it's going to get really dark, okay? So just turn back and uh, just follow where I go. Uh, again, you can just follow the blue line, I guess. You know, the power where it's going. Uh, but I am going to show my uh, flashlight just in case, you know. So in case you don't get lost. You're going to take a right, a left, excuse me, as you saw right there. But I try to have the flashlight so you can see because it, it is really dark. But we're just going to make our way back to the elevator the same way we just got there. So if anything, use your waypoint. And we're going to continue because, again, we have to go in there regardless because that's where our objective is at. So we're going to go up north again, take a little left and then straight, if that makes sense. Now, just careful because once you get there, again, follow the blue line. But once you get there, a couple enemies are going to pop out on you. So just a heads up, you know, be careful. 
as you see there two of them popped out and then one, once i open the door there's literally like another one right there so just adds up on that but if you go straight that is where the node is at then you know like i said careful there's a bench in there as well in case if you need one and uh go pick it up and as you saw right there from the glimpse of the corner as soon as you're done with that one head on over to the left and there is another log right there so pick it up, listen to it, cancel it, whatever, but just careful because this is where the, the marker is at. But again, just a heads up, this is only if you're playing New Game Plus, okay? So smack it, and then you'll drop it. Again, if you're not playing a New Game Plus, this should not be there for you. Just a heads up on you. But to your left of that, and as, well, as you see, this is the achievement for picking up one of them. Or again, you know, in the case, trophy for you playing on PlayStation. But to your left, that is where the objective should be located at. Next up, we're going to continue um, following the story. And as you see, there's Return to Kellyon. So just kind of make your way into this. Uh, it's kind of towards the way of the, the story regardless. So you're going to have to go uh, down a uh, elevator once again. So just continue again. I know, not the best placing, and I do apologize for that, but you do have to go on this elevator anyways. You're going to go and pop out, and then you'll see this uh, necromorph pop out there. It's not going to necessarily chase you, but as soon as you take the turn, take a left and go into this room. And this is where the node should be kind of hidden behind over here. And now finally for the last collectible of chapter one is going to be the suit level two. Now continue following the story. You'll get this video call from Hammond. And as you can see, they're, they're being chased. You'll get to this door that's kind of locked. You just got to wait for the vlog or the, the call to end. And we're going to go down the elevator again. Use your waypoint. We're going to go down and this is going to take us technically to where the store is at. So now you can go and buy the level two armor again. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy it right now. This is just when it becomes available for you. And keep in mind, level suit, uh, suit three and four and five, you do have to find the schematics. This is the only one that they give to you. Again, I got the level six because I already beat the game. This is a new game plus, so ignore this. But the level suit two will cost you ten thousand dollars. Just a heads up on that. And uh, yes, so hopefully all this is kind of making sense. Again, the level suit two you can buy pretty much whenever. This is just the time where you can start, you know, buying it if you would like to. Uh, but then again, the rest of, of the uh, logs after this is just all story related. I think at this point you should already have all of them anyways. And that's kind of how the process works. It's, it's like I'm just going to show you ones the ones that you need to find. The rest of them you just unlock by playing the complete story, which is pretty cool because you'll see that later down in the chapters, I literally uh, barely collect like, I don't know, a couple like 30 of them. And then I already unlocked the achievement because uh, a lot of them are literally from the main story. But again, give me some feedback. Am I talking too much? Am I going too slow? I'm trying to make it super easy for you guys. So hopefully that's working. But anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next chapters. Peace.